This is the Concord Municipal Affordable Housing Trust uh, meeting on April 14th, 2022, and it is 1.34 p.m. And we will start with a, uh, our first order of business is called to order and roll call. So I'll call uh, the roll. Uh, Linda Escobedo. Present. Mike Lawson. Present. Rich Feely. Present. Carrie LaFleur. And that's the present. Uh, and uh, Keith Bergman present. All right, so all five of us are here. Uh, first uh, item of business is approval of minutes. And we had a set from our last meeting on March 24, 2022, that I'd sent out, uh, I think right, right after that meeting two weeks ago. Uh, so I hope you had a chance to uh, um, look at those. One, one change that I think I would make, I don't know for certain that the um, uh, person, the sign purchase and sale agreement for Assabet River Bluff in its entirety with all of the attachments is a public document or, or some, some document, some pages might be subject to, um, to uh, being uh, withheld. So uh, if I'll, I'll just, I would say we won't, uh, uh, I'd feel more comfortable not attaching those to our minutes. I'm sure they'll be uh, available uh, through appropriate channels. We're not the custodian of those necessarily, um, but uh, I, I think I just omit uh, listing those as an attached document, if that's okay. It's certainly a public record. Uh, if it needs to be redacted, the custodian of the public record will take care of that. And I just assume that we not be, be part of that um, mm. process, so. I would uh, agree with that. Great, so is there is there a motion to approve the uh, draft minutes of March uh, 24 uh, with, uh, with that um, amendment of not including the PNS? So moved. Second. Moved by, moved by Mike, seconded by Rich. Is there further discussion? All right, so on that motion, a roll call vote. Linda? Aye. Mike? Aye. Rich? Aye. Terry? Um, that's an aye. Uh, and Keith, aye. So that's a unanimous vote. Thanks very much. Next item uh, is a uh, source of, uh, is our standard item on source of trust funds, which includes all sorts of uh, mm -hmm. things where we get our money from real estate transfer fee uh, legislation that's pending, uh, use of ARPA funds, annual town meeting appropriation. And it seemed like the most appropriate thing for us to note in this meeting is that the, uh, if, if I've got the information correctly, the select board had unanimously voted on March 28th to take affirmative action on the article 24, which contains, which is proposes $500,000 uh, into the uh, uh, article to appropriate funds for affordable housing, and we, uh, which is great uh, to have that support and that Kerry had sent out a, a further clarification describing in essence, the funding source would be uh, in, the, in the motion would be free cash but that be through use of ARPA funds that would be freed up by the select board, go to free cash calculation uh, later that, that uh, basically the, the, the uh, it's, it, I'd, I'd call it, it's like a short-term loan from ARPA to free cash, which allows a uh, town meeting to appropriate the, the regular amount, $500,000 now, uh, or, or that is on, on May 1st. And then um, the, those funds would be made good in, uh, in uh, uh, through use of ARPA uh, funds. Is that, is that uh, correct, Carrie? Yes, it is. Can I ask, uh, I'm sorry not to know, has the Finance Committee taken a position on this article? They have, and, and they voted to recommend affirmative action. Oh, that's great. That's great. We really appreciate it. I thought it was a, an elegant solution 
to the problem that is the the you know the, the desire was to uh, to use recognize that free cash per se was not uh, available within the the uh, policy guidelines um, and the desire was to tap into ARPA and that the way to tap into ARPA funds which would allow us broader discretion in how those funds are used would 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 not be to give us pure ARPA funds from the select board but rather to use it as ARPA funds for lost revenue, uh, which is a separate track. So that that was, a, I thought, a great solution. And I'm so glad that the select board and the finance committee are agreeable uh, to that. Uh, Linda. So I would just add that as of this morning, uh, with the coordination meeting with the town manager, Article 24 will be presented on the floor at town meeting, uh, unless there are other changes between now in the next few days, but that's my understanding. Very good. Thanks very much. We 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 couldn't we couldn't get it into a consent calendar. No, <laughs> that would be we're ha happy to take the money and happy to explain ourselves too. So, thank thank you, thank you all for the effort. That's great. Yeah. Uh, it. it you know, I think there will be some additional challenge in terms of trying to help the general public understand that, but um, hopefully uh, we'll be able to address that. That's great. And we'll have, and we'll be on the same, uh, I don't want to say we're taking sides, but we'd be on the same side of the motion as the finance committee this, this time out, uh, if they are in favor of the article as well. So that's great. Um, appreciate that a lot. That's uh, that's a that's a great accomplishment. Um, anything else under the category of where our funding comes from? Um, any updates, uh, Rich, on how the uh, le state the legislation is pending at the state house? Um, well, the support grows outside the legislature. Uh, and there are plenty of support inside, but the sort of you know, rumor, you know, I think it's more than rumor because people who know people are talking to the legislative leadership is that they are reluctant to do a new tax, particularly in a year in which there might be a new tax, i.e. the millionaires, uh, you know, the graduated income tax, if you will. The millionaire's tax. Um, so the issue is going to be whether they will let it go forward. Um, Martha's Vineyard uh, towns, just uh, two or three of them passed it at town meetings this past week or two. Uh, so, you know, there's more interest in it locally, reasonable support on the floor of the House and Senate. Um, I keep wondering if we might see a compromise uh, where the towns that have done it would be allowed to go ahead and see how it works. Um, I keep hoping that might happen, but I don't what know. What about the building permit surcharge? Uh, that last time I looked was pending third reading. I don't, I don't think that'll get caught up in the transfer fee yeah. argument, whether it gets out or not, I don't know. Yeah. I think one thing we uh, pass along to Linda, the select board, is that uh, even if this gets passed by the legislature, there's still quite a lot of work that has to be done by the town to set this uh, building surcharge uh, structure up. Uh, and it might be it might be wise if um, I guess that for for Terry too. I'm, I'm wondering if it might be wise to get Marsha to begin thinking about if, if Marsha is the right person, I'm, I'm not really sure, but to start thinking about what this surcharge might actually look like because it too has to go back to town meeting for approval, the actual uh, surcharge itself. Yeah, and that's a good reminder. This discussion that the select board might be able to do the fee schedule without going back to town meeting. Linda, <coughs> all that discussion? Um, 
You know, I, I, the discussion I remember is just as Mike is outlining. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid the original. I'm afraid the original language. My recollection is the original language said that it would come back to town meeting. I, I wish it didn't say that, or I hope I'm wrong, but that's what I recall. No. In, in, in any event, I mean, I, I wonder if we might want to step forward and ask the select board if, if this is the proper procedure to, if, if we can, you know, if we can help out by, you know, taking ownership of some initial discussions and, and uh, we don't set the fee, certainly, but we can be a party that is interested in helping to make sure that there's the necessary discussion to so that the, the systems in place should should the time come when it can be enacted. Um, but uh, we, we might wanna take some direction from the select board on how they want that to proceed. It may be that we're, we are simply the recipient of the funds and how the, how the fee is arrived at goes through some other process and that's fine too, but um, we're here and have the bandwidth to um, to so with, uh, the vote. Hmm. Linda? No, so, um, I, I, I generally, um, it, it's good to have this back on our radar, no question about that. Um, with everything that's on everyone's plate and the, and uh, you know, uh, bandwidth that various departments and individuals may or may not have, it's a little difficult to get people to uh, take seriously uh, crafting what those guidelines would look like when when it hasn't come out of um, the legislation. So it, it's uh, it's a balance, I guess, here between being proactive and being so proactive that you know nothing happens for the next six or seven months, and it's it, you know it's hard to get people invested in yeah. the process. On the other hand, I would hope that we could, in a timely way, get people on board if, in fact, we had some indication that it was moving. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to make this year's town meeting anyway. So, you know, I mean, the question is, does it get out of the legislature by the end of the session this summer or not? And the feeling is that would give plenty of time. And somebody, whether it's in buildings or and planning is going to have to run, you know, data on how many and what size and, you know, how much of an increase in the current fees would generate X amount of dollars. I certainly would be willing to help somebody, but I guess, Linda, I agree with you that, uh, uh, you know, given all the demands on the town staff over the next couple of months, this is one that can wait a little while. Yeah, I'm I'm fine I'm fine with that too, and and uh, it it's uh, I'm just wondering whether there are any other any other communities that are have proposed similar leg legislation, and um, I'm I'm not personally aware that there that there is, but uh, that um, if there were, then we could you know see what methodology are they using or what steps are they taking but i'm i'm fine for us to continue to to monitor it and be we can be an early warning uh signal to the rest of town government once this does become a thing so that's uh that's fine anything else in the category of uh sources of funding all right, great. Next item is use of funds. And our one use of funds has been the Assabet River Bluff land acquisition uh, project. And, and on that, I believe that we're also in a, uh, uh, also a similar case of being arm in arm with the, now with the select board and the finance committee on uh, funding. Uh, I, I heard that the uh, we, uh, that the select board and the finance committee voted recently uh, unanimously to support Article 25, which is the article that the uh, 
that uh, Carrie as interim town manager submitted for the 50,000 in, in gap funding for, for the purchase. Uh, and I'm assuming, but uh, that the, uh, we're hoping that FinCom and Select Board also approved Article 26 for Community Preservation Committee funding. Is that right? Okay, so that's, so that's, that's great. And um, is, is there anything, uh, Carrie, that you want to uh, tell us about the, ar the Article 25 funding? I guess you'll, you'll get, you get to explain that to the voters, right? So. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, good. Um, no, I think deal, either Delia Kay or Liz Rust will present that article. I'm okay. obviously there to help answer any questions. Yeah, um, okay. And, and it, the purpose, as, as I understand it, the purpose is that if, if we, uh, in the event that we're, that the town is awarded a, an open space grant, which I don't know if we will know that prior to May 1st town meeting. I think we will know about the um, land and water conservation fund grant before town meeting. Okay. And in the event that there's an award for the grant, you, the town wouldn't get the grant money until, I don't know, sometime next, after the first of the year or something. It, it's at a later date that go, that is far beyond the proposed closing of July uh, 2022, when the, when the uh, Concord uh, uh, Housing uh, Development Corporation would acquire parcel one and uh, the uh, con the Concord Land Trust or, or some entity that is set up would be, would be the pre-acquirer of, um, of uh, parcel two with the idea that in order to qualify for the state grant, the town ultimately has to own parcel two. Uh, and, and so after the, and, and so that's a, um, I'll be looking forward to Delia or or this is discussion of how that how that all goes together. But and, and I was also assuming that in the event that the grant that the state grant is not awarded, that that money is there uh, if it's needed by you, you know when the, when the closing comes in July, if there are not enough. Uh, if there's not enough private fundraising dollars right. that put on the table for the open space, then you could go up to $50,000 to- 500,000. 500,000, I beg your pardon. To, uh, to make good, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, and, and if I was following the discussion that the hope, the select board's hope, and I think it's a good one that, that there be some written protocol that describes what happens. Um, does the town get does the town get reimbursed for that for the for the five hundred thousand dollars or a portion of it uh, if it um, or, or how does how does that work? Yeah, well we have a, a meeting tomorrow, I, I think to tomorrow morning to talk about that in further detail, because as, as far as I know, there's nothing in writing yet uh, okay. about how that might happen, but that's definitely an open question for the select board. Yeah, and was the purpose that that would be discussed in a, um, uh, that, uh, that the, uh, if, if there were to be a written agreement that describes it, would that be by amending the memorandum of understanding uh, for ASABA? And I just mentioned that because we're part of that. Yeah. I mean, this, this, this board is, this committee yeah. the trust is part of that MOU, but. Um, so I, I don't, I don't want to speak for, for Linda, but I think at least some of the members of the select board would prefer to see the MOU amended to address that question. Um, there, there was no specific vote on that, but there were definitely comments that were made by at least one member that that would be the preference. Clearly. 
Yeah. 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 And, and I, I recall us raising or in our discussion asking, well, why isn't the town a, 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 a signing the MOU? Uh, I guess we're the we're we're a town entity, uh, but we are not the we are not the town. Um, and we could speak on behalf of our, our own trust. Um, but um, I, I would yeah, I would think that uh, if if there's if the MOU is to be amended, uh, if if we're given the opportunity to participate in those discussions, that might be helpful. Um, but. Uh, We were sort of in. Um, <clears throat> I, you know, I certainly um, hear clearly and, and know <laughs> as a member of this group um, that we were part and parcel to that MOU, signing on to that MOU. So, you know, that will clearly be brought forward if, in fact, there is an amendment to the MOU need for that to occur. Yeah, to, to the extent that it needs to be somewhere, I suppose it could be in some other separate document, but it, it, you, you seem to have everyone uh, accept, well, well I, I'll put it on the table. I think the town ought to, ought to be a party to any agreement that, uh, not just this trust uh, to any agreement that says what happens to the town's grant money. Um, and, uh, and so uh, if, if, and however that's, accomplished if if us being a part of that helps fine if if it goes directly to the select board uh, that's fine too um but we're we're sort of we're not the lead dog on this um uh, on this document although we are then asked to approve it um but you know, whatever direction the you know the select board and the administration would like us to do, we'll be happy to happy to help out. Um, any other comments on that? So the the, the only other um, thing I would ask maybe Carrie to speak to the 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 narrative that you used um, describing it as a bridge loan. Sure. I have so, yeah, that. I, uh, that may be confused some people. So the closing is not happening until next fiscal year, in, until the end of July. Um, as long as the the grant the grant is is awarded on a reimbursement basis, so the town has to expend expend the funds, submit the the um, receipts to the state, and and then be reimbursed. As long as all of that occurs within the same fiscal year. There's no need to use any of the authorization under Article 25. Um, it's, it would only be if it crossed a fiscal year, then we would need Article 25 as a bridge. Again, assuming that the grant is awarded. If, if the grant is not, if neither grant is awarded and the fundraising falls short of its goal, then, then we would have to use that funding. And we would have to issue the debt to to secure that funding. So I think that was confusing to some people because we're absolutely looking for town meeting to approve Article 25. So we have that that tool available to us if it is needed. Right. And and in fact, if I understand it, Article 25 is the means by which the town itself is authorized to acquire the six acres for open space purposes. Because there's it doesn't that authority doesn't come from anywhere else, I don't think. Yeah, that that very well may be. Yeah, the, the CHDC does not require a town meeting authorizing vote to acquire the one acre, but the town itself would would require a town meeting vote to acquire the six acres. Would uh, if they ulti if if ultimately the town has to be the owner of the six acres to qualify for the open space grant, then it, I think it's, uh, um, 
And even if all the money is in other pockets, it, uh, I think you, it, I think part of Article 25's purpose is to is to authorize acquiring the six acres, per se. So that's great. That's great. So Keith, the only other thing I would comment on uh, is that. The MOU as it currently stands um, says that the fundraising plus uh, grant will equal the one million to whatever that figure is. That's how the MOU reads now. So should there not be a grant, that's how that line reads. So my point has to do with the implications of the fundraising efforts that have gone on to date. Now, you know, we all, and, and so what is in place from where I sit is both Article 25, which is a tool, and I, I like that description, Carrie, because I think that helps um, Clarify it for some people. Should all these other, you know, the other two sources of funding come through the grant plus the fundraising, um, so that's needed as a cash flow tool, really, in order to, to to put all these pieces together. Yeah, I think for whoever's going to present the the the. Uh a visual tool that shows the total amount of, you know, and maybe in two buckets, 1 million for housing and 1.9 million for open space, that the, co the component parts of how do, you, how do you get to the total? Um, and so you can point to um, the por portion of that, which is contained in article 26 for both open space and housing and point to the, uh, um, point to the amount that's in article 25. Um, and I think it would, so, so the folks can visualize, well, where does this number fit into the, to the, to the picture? Um, and, um, I, and I think it's, it's great that there'll be discussions going on, whoever's involved with them to, to specify what happens um, with, uh, you know, that answers the question of which the voters would ask, will the town get reimbursed? Uh, if, if the state grant, if, the, if we're putting up half a million dollars now in article 25 and we get a, a grant in that amount, does the, does the town, how much if any of the, um, the, the funding in article 25 is still needed for the purchase and um, sounds like that'll be a matter of negotiation. So depending upon what, what's been done with the fundraising. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll stay tuned to that. And of course, that's all going to get worked out in the next, uh, is it even two weeks? Um, I don't know, or yeah, two, two and a, two, less than two and a half weeks uh, before town meeting. So if we could be helpful, Carrie, we'd be happy to do that. So please let us know. Keith, I, I would be interested if there are any further comments from Richard or um, Mike on this, because this is complicated. Well, you know, I, I guess my concern is that um, you know, if we get the grant that the town gets reimbursed first and the environmental, you know, uh, NGOs don't get a piece of that until the, I mean, not that we want the Community Preservation Act funds or the uh, Municipal Affordable Housing Trust funds back, but the grant relieves the town of the 500000 and, um, you know, only should there be a shortfall uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the fundraising, which didn't sound to me like they were, I think I heard at the select board meeting that they 
we're already up to 800,000 or something like that. I think 920 is the last figure I heard. And 920. Yeah. 920. I just wish it were so easy to raise money for affordable housing. Yeah. 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 Anyhow, uh, so, I mean, that's my only concern is that the, the, the town is the first in line to be reimbursed. Yeah, uh, I agree. Thousand. Okay, very good. Any other comments? I, I, I just underscore, I think, to the extent that there's a simple chart that showed, you know, like a bar, like a side by side bar graph or something that shows totals of a million for housing, 1.9 million for open space, and we see the component parts um, there. And uh, I think that might help the voters understand what they're being asked to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a it's a uh, pie chart and, you know, housing's in one clear color and, and environments in the other, and then you show the components within that. Okay, very good. Uh, if, if there are no other comments on Assabet River Bluff, uh, let's, I wanted to go to the next ag agenda item of reports on handouts for town meeting articles. And um, we had uh, taken votes on February 17th uh, to support articles 24, 25, and 26. And I had put together uh, an initial uh, description that went out as an email to the moderator, the select board chair, FinCom chair, and, and uh, copy to all of us, um, which the moderator uh, responded to uh, a week or so ago, uh, asking that we're just describing the protocol for putting a hand, you know, that there are guidelines for handouts for town meeting. Uh, Chris Carmody is, has, is going to assist with the getting the requisite number of copies made of the handout in time for a town meeting. Um, I, it, I'm, it, I'm interested to see that our deadline is noon on the day of town meeting to get the document ready, which assures that no one's going to read it um, prior, prior to town meeting. Um, but uh, unless, the, unless those things get posted in some place where people can see them. I'm, I'm not sure if that's- I think our, these are handouts. Handouts. For, for town meeting. Right. The handouts that people get when they walk in and- right. so There's uh, no distribution of them before town meeting. Yeah, that they don't, no one, no one sees what we're, anyone's thinking before. If it's not in the finance committee recommendation that's sent out to everyone, um, then it'll just be uh, information that people receive at town meeting, um, and that's and that's and that's fine. Um, I don't I don't think there's anything precluding us from posting uh, how we feel on our web page if anyone wanted to look there. If we had a statement, uh, had some success working with Aaron on posting information uh, about. The trust at our at our web page. Um, I don't I don't I don't know if the committees. I'm, I'm not sure what information from boards is is electronically posted at the town website prior to town meeting for people to read. But um, in but in with that that aside, what I did want to have us uh, talk about is how our uh, if if we're comfortable with what our handout. Uh, says or what what it should say, and um, I'm going to for, first to say that I I had included uh, the text of my original email in the materials that we sent out uh, for this meeting, but I'm going to do a screen share so I have my reading glasses on so I can find it. I'm going to do a, a screen share with uh, can can you see this? Okay, 
but I, I thought it might be useful to, to just look at if we if we were going to have a handout, what might it look like? This is this is on one page with our uh, committee name, the date, and our, and I put our names uh, at the at the bottom, and then uh, a par a paragraph describing uh, each. And if it's okay, I thought it might maybe we just want to take a look at whether 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 we want to do any wordsmithing from this. this but this basically is, is what I had sent out previously. I made a few comments, for example, on this one on Article 24, pro, appropriating funds for affordable housing development. Um, I had um, added at the end that we thank the Select Board and Finance Committee for their, uh, for their support. Um, I did not get into the uh, where the money, what the source of the funding is. I didn't. I did not try to explain or get into the free free cash versus backfield ARPA funds. Um, no, just looking at this first paragraph. If there's, if you can all see that, whether there is any edits. So, Mike, uh, this is Linda. My concern about um, thank you for doing this. Let me say that first, um, and it, and I think it's important that there are um, there is this handout um, coming with support in each of these. On Article Twenty Four, um, the only um, issue I have with how it's written right now is that. Uh, midway through the paragraph referring to a years long process of adoption still li lies ahead and yeah. no re and no reference to the ARPA funds um, as being um, the source for the free cash yeah. funds yeah. recommended. Okay. Puts so a, can, does not can. put the positive slant on it in terms of where I think we are with all the developments that have happened. Right. Uh, let's see. All right, so what we could, maybe I could delete this par this uh, sentence. Uh, that talks about the uh, transfer fee and um, Let's see, home rule petitions. You know, on the positive side, you know, I think yeah. uh, Rich has said previously, there's been significant um, um, you know, significant of, of events that have advanced this issue in the, uh, you know, before the legislature. Right, so maybe in, to take in both terms, the, yeah. yeah, both the re real estate transfer fee and the building permit surcharge. Uh, uh, were recently reported out favorably by the legislative committee. So that you yeah. take you take out the uh, the the other sentence, you're just left with a positive statement there. Yeah. Either that, or you can say, but it will still be some time uh, before revenue from these sources will be available. Something like that. But I, I'm happy to with just leaving the phrase out. In other words, what Linda suggested. Yeah, maybe we could, how about this? We could say reported out favorably by legislative committee as an initial step in the lengthy process. The, the legislative process. Fair and enough. I'll, yeah, and I'll put, I'll take out the first time the word legislative appeared. We reported out favorably by committee as an initial step in the in the state legislative process. Um, and now, uh, point well taken that if the funding source is ultimately to be ARPA funds, we had to find a way to uh, express that. Uh, Uh, so, uh, let's see, for FY, uh, the last sentence, for FY 2023, the trust, um, the trust 
Uh, I think you could put a period after year and say, but this year, while the funds uh, will come initially from free cash, they will be reimbursed from ARPA funds. Something. Okay, so uh, for for this year, uh, funds uh, free cash, free cash funds will be replenished with ARPA funds. Or the free ca free cash funds requested. Yeah, free cash free oh, cash yeah. used for this article will be replenished by ARPA funds. I would use reimbursed. Yeah. Okay, yeah, reimbursed. That's good. Reimbursed. by federal ARPA funds. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, For FY 2023, the, the trust requests to continue this current funding level for another year. Um, this current level period, okay. For this year, free cash used for this article uh, will be reimbursed by federal ARPA funds. Um, the trust, thanks. The Select Board and Finance Committee for this report of this article. How does that look? Okay. All right. All right, let's... Uh, so Keith, um, can you just remind me how much does this cover on this one page? How far down do we go? Pretty far, okay. Yeah, to the whole. Yeah, That's, okay, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I chose, well, I chose it, uh, I chose a font of 14 so that I can read it without my glasses. And, and <laughs> especially if we're in a, well, I don't know, we inside, right, we're inside, we won't be in daylight, we'll be in, um, or, are, or are we, I don't know, are we outside, inside? No. We're inside at this point. Inside, yeah, so I'd be, so the, uh, I picked a type, size that okay. most folks would be able to read. Okay, so then we've got um, these, are, and then these are the other articles 25 and 26, both refer to, or at least as we're, for, for our purposes, both refer to the Assabet River Bluff. Um, so, Kerry, is the is Article Twenty Five borrowing? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to take out appropriation or would authorize borrowing. Thank you. Towards the project to acquire the seven acre Assabet River Bluff property. The trustees fully support this $2.9 million project, which would acquire six acres for open space, $1.9 million, and one acre for affordable housing, $1 million. I think, the, Keith, we've got to mention the two houses that are already there. Otherwise, somebody's going to say, why are we paying $1.9 million for six acres and only in a, paying a million? In other words, right. it looks like a lot more per acre. Until you right. recognize there's two houses on it. Right. I um, yeah, I did in the in the next sentence I, I get I get to that. Uh, let's see, maybe I could move it up. Yeah, I would put the ex uh, including an existing two family structure. And then you know you can leave your five affordable housing. Next sentence. Okay, so so are you going to just reverse the order of that or? 
No, what I would what I would suggest is to acquire uh, which would acquire six acres for open space and one acre including uh, an existing two family structure for affordable housing parenthesis one I think I'd want I think for I, I, I think I'd suggest for the first time that we say it maybe we just want to say it so and one acre for uh, affordable housing nine or $1 million for five affordable housing units, including an existing two family structure. Just, just put it, put it right out there uh, in the first sentence um, in, in case yeah. we lose folks. Yeah, I, I just don't want somebody doing a per acre comparison and saying, why are we paying so much more per acre? So. Nothing will stop them. Yeah, maybe what <laughs> I could do. Maybe what I'll do, I'll put, I'll do, I'll put, do this. I'll put, and one acre for affordable housing. Um, one million, including an existing two-family structure, two structure for a total of five affordable housing units. It's fine. It's lots of clauses, but and learning how to lots of information to get out. Um, Two family structure. Do we want to say for an allowable total of five affordable housing units or? I don't. Okay. I'd like to say five. Yeah, I mean, that's certainly, I think we want to reinforce yeah. the expectation that we're getting five units out of this. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, because five units starts to look significant if we're right at the margin on 40B. Correct. And um, so, even though Article 25 does not pertain to the housing component at all, on this sheet of paper, it's the first time we talk about Assabet River Bluff. So I think it's important for us to just fully describe what the what the deal is for you know both housing and and open space. But um, let's see. The, what what this article what this description does not have, and maybe it's beyond the scope of what we would necessarily concern ourselves with. It does it doesn't describe how you get to 1.9 million in um, a total of 1.9 million from open space um, purposes. Um, you know the the. CPC funding in the next article, the private fundraising, the state grant. Um, I don't think we should try to. No, I mean, we're so the housing I mean, people. Harry or somebody from the select board is going to present that pie chart at some point. Right, right. Someone else is carrying the water, and we're and we're. This is a handout on housing articles, and so um, the the fact that. You know, Article 25 is necessary to acquire the whole property. Is why it's important to us. It's part of the deal, and and we want to make sure that that this funding goes through. I I, I think it it really would need to come from someone else to explain. Well, why do you need five? Why do you need five hundred thousand dollars from in this article? To, and how does that fit into the open space deal? I think someone else can describe that, but. Since in the first time that we describe what the Assabet River Bluff project is, I think it's fine for us to just focus on the housing pieces. Hmm. Unless you want to say, see, you know, for a fuller description of um, the open space. Let me say that uh, I, will, I, I don't want, I think this should be as straightforward as possible. Remember that in addition to this, which will show up at a table with 6 billion other pieces of paper, 
uh, the more important things are what is going to be said on behalf of the trust when each of these articles come up. So I don't think we should be worrying too much wordsmithing here. Get the basic facts out there. Yeah. Because uh, these things get lost. I don't know if you look at that table, but that's just a, you know, a hard yeah. part of stuff. Yeah, I, I think that the, the, again, the bottom line is that um, to the, be, because we're committed, we, because we're supporting the Assabet River Bluff land acquisition, we support all the component parts of that and, and including the half million dollars in Article 5, which, which affects the the open space portion doesn't really affect us, except that if Article 25 doesn't pass, the, the deal doesn't, and the deal doesn't go forward, then we don't get affordable housing um, here. So, um, so um, I don't know if this helps or confuses the situation, but your first sentence, um, where you say sponsored by the interim town manager would authorize borrowing 500,000. If we inserted the words as needed towards the project. Yeah, that's, yeah. As needed towards the- uh, Project and- Yeah, toward, toward, yeah. In fact, I'm, I'm wondering if we would even want to, um, well, it does go towards acquiring the seven acres. It, it's, I mean, the tough part in, this, in describing this is that it's Article 25 only gives funding for the six acres and not for us. Um, so yeah, it, it's that. See, it's the second sentence that sort of describes, we, we fully support the, the, the project, which, which, would acquire, which would acquire six acres. Uh, maybe, maybe that's the first thing. So rather, rather than getting into that detail, I wonder if you yeah. could say as needed yeah. to successfully acquire the seven acre Assabet River Bluff property, and then you're uh, not dissecting it? Yeah. Just, uh, needed to successfully acquire all of the uh, to acquire the seven acre asset the bluff property. That's a good sentence, the first one. Now um, I don't know if I don't know if it helps or hurts for us to put in a disclaimer that says, while the funding in Article 25 is for the open space portion, the trustees fully support this article, which is part of the, uh, I don't know, maybe that just confuses people. Yeah, I don't think we need to get that precise. I think it's inferred. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, at some point, Kate, you or somebody else needs to stand up and if there's a lot of opposition, which there may not be, right. uh, given the support from the select board and the finance committee and say, folks, this is a package deal. If we can't put this set of pieces together, then the land to be sold to developers and we will get neither preservation nor affordable housing. I mean, uh, I mean, that's the reality of the situation, but I don't think you put it in there. You say it if we get a lot of flack in opposition and if there's no, no significant opposition, we don't say anything. Yeah, I'm having a thought now about how to uh, do this and it might be this to uh, that is to say we've got two part we've got two parts of the both article 25 and 26 have funding for the for Assabet River Bluff so we we say that 
we say that we lump them together quickly. Um, and then we say that we fully support the uh, the two point million dollar uh, pass the bet river bluff project. And so we just we describe it we describe why we support the the project after we've said that we support um, articles 25 and 26 with pieces of it. I don't know if that or maybe even to ask about server bluff articles. If you're gonna do that, maybe capital A on articles then? Yeah. So maybe this would be the way to like fit them on a page that we've got. Uh, well, yeah, I like that approach because that's where I was going when I first asked how much room was on the page. Yeah. Because trying to um, get paragraphs to jump out at people is helpful. Yeah. So so yeah, we've got we're involved. We're into this because the, these are, these two articles support Assabet River Bluff. So we'll label it as Assabet River Bluff. Um, and uh, maybe we even label this uh, um, funding for the trust. Uh, um, It's not, a, it's not a U. That way the format is similar. I can fiddle with the space in between. There, okay. You can get that on keys. Smaller type. Yeah. There, there you go. Back to one page. So this morning, Carmen said uh, 550 copies. 550, and, okay. Yeah, and she also said, um, which, you know, the town manager's office probably will run off for us if this is submitted to them. And she also said to expect articles 25 and 26 for sure on Sunday. And, um, it's hard to know whether 24 will go on Sunday or not. Why, why would it not? Uh, because the select board has recommended at this point not to take up any new business after um, five o'clock in order to get done at 5.30, although that may get discussed again Monday night and, and revised somewhat. But yeah. um, she, so that Carmen knows that she probably is gonna to have to take a couple of these out of order in order to get 25 and 26 on Sunday. Okay. And she also said um, for the, in, in this case, for the, if there are handouts for 24, if 24 did end up going on Tuesday night, yeah. uh, sorry, uh, Monday night, you would need an additional 550 copies on the table Monday night. 
because it's just the way it works. Right, because not because people throw things out or told. So, so whatever not. directions are given to the town manager's office need to make that clear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, and as I and Chris has has uh, Chris Carmody has indicated that he's our go-to person with with our photocopying needs. Okay. On this, so that's great. Um, okay. So, but. Um, the article that comes before Article 25 and 26 would not actually come up before Article 25 and 26. 24 doesn't come up before 25. May or may not, and um, it's hard to know at this point, quite frankly. Yeah. But originally, I wasn't planning on it Monday night. Yeah. I mean, we'd certainly settle to have it be in a consent agenda. And if it's, but whatever. For, for what it's worth, the Housing Foundation has asked approval of a two-sided handout, one of which is uh, essentially the Thoreau District rezoning and the reasons to support it. But the flip side is all those articles that have an essentially a checklist of all the articles that have an impact on affordable housing. I don't know whether she'll approve it. If she doesn't, we'll just do the thorough uh, district on one page. Okay. Well, I, my suggestion would be that the, the procedure is that uh, wh whatever committee submits as a handout is subject to approval by the um, moderator. So I, um, and if, if she sees something in here that needs editing, I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll be told. So I, I, I uh, unless there are, if there are further edits that anyone would like to make to this document now, happy to do that. But I'm just thinking procedurally, we might just wanna, uh, once we've concluded the discussion of what the handout should look like, we could have an authorizing vote for this, for the chair to submit this to the moderator for review. So uh, and... I would make that motion now, propose that uh, we approve this as a handout subject to uh, any modifications required by the moderator. Second. Second. Okay. Rich moves. Um, Mike seconds. Uh, let's see, subject to subject to any, um, what did you say subject to any amendments that may be required by the moderator? Subject to any modifications. Required. Oh, modifications, right, thank you. Modifications that may be required by the moderator, okay. All right, that's a motion and a second. Is there further discussion on that motion? All right, so let's take a, a roll call on that motion. Linda? Aye. Mike? Aye. Rich? Aye. Kerry? Aye. And Keith? Aye. So that motion passes five to nothing. Thank you. Thanks for, um, thanks for um, t taking the time to go through this uh, today so, we'll, um, so we can get something to the moderator. That's great. Next, next item on the agenda, and I'm going to stop sharing the screen. After I, after I press save for on the document, and now we are at um, at public comment. Keith, will you yes. send that out to each of us um, right after the meeting? Sure, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that next. Thank you. Yeah. Um, while I still have, I'm in a, I'm staying in a house with no Wi-Fi, so when oh. we come into town and stay at my in-laws house, uh, so for the Zoom call, then that, I'll make sure I send it out for, for I head back. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so we are now at the public uh, comment. If if uh, anyone would like to make any comments. See, we have some, some visitors here, our, our guests, and we're happy to have you 
here with us at the meeting. All right. So with, with that, next, next item then is the schedule of the next meeting. And I wanted to just, uh, uh, I'm gonna suggest that we pick a Thursday, just pick a Thursday at 1.30 and some Thursday in May. So we have, a, have something on the books. But, I, but before we do that, I just wanna call to your attention some other things that, that uh, meeting times that have our attention first, is that the uh, next meeting of the Housing Production Plan Steering Committee will be on uh, May 18th uh, on, at, 4, 8, at 4 p.m. on Zoom. Uh, There's a schedule of meetings and I'll include those in our minutes, Ju June 15th, July 27th, October 19th and December 7th when the HPP Steering Committee is meeting. And, and Mike and I represent this board uh, uh, there, but it's, those are public Zoom meetings and you're on well, all welcome. But I also noted that, that even prior to that next meeting, there are a series of, of uh, focus group meetings that the Housing Production Plan consultant, Jen Goldson, is, uh, is convening at five different times between April 20 and uh, April 28th. And I just checked, I'm gonna, just take a look here. There may not be any uh, times left. Let me refresh this page. And I'm gonna share the page. That if you can see that the, the very first uh, focus group is on uh, April 20th at, uh, at uh, 5 p.m. I, I see uh, Linda and I are signed up for that. It's uh, um, the only time, and the, all the others are filled. There's two slots that are open for the 6.30 on, um, on April 20. You see a lot of folks from the affordable housing stakeholder groups and others who have uh, signed up uh, and they are allow allowing a total of seven uh, folks for each, uh, for each focus group. The one with a couple of slots open right now is 6.30 on April 20, but I'm gl glad to see that process uh, starting. Uh, glad to see people uh, signing, uh, signing up uh, for it. And the steering committee will next meet on um, May 18th. So looking at our, our own calendars, um, is there a, um, is there a time, um, what, how would uh, May 12th look? 1.30? Yeah, 1.30 on Thursday, May 12th. That yeah, works for me. And if we, for some reason, we need to have other um, times to get together, we can um, do that. Um, I, I, I guess what I would ask Kerry, if, if, if for, for the meeting that's going to take place tomorrow, discussing the Assabet River Bluff, if there's, if there's any amendment to the MOU that's needed by the parties prior to town meeting, you know, please, please let us all know so we can schedule, you know, a special meeting to, to, to vote on that because that would be worth worthwhile to do if, if we're called upon to do so. All right, anything else uh, to come before the order? I think, yes, Lois. I have a question on the, the focus group. Yes. Do you have, does one have to be invited to it or can men, like a you know resident of town go to it um get you know make a reservation and how would you do it if you can't if it's open? yeah if you could um if if you're if you're interested in it i can put the i will put the link uh in the um Keith, i wonder if um you should 
put her in direct contact with either um, Goldstein uh, or Liz Rice. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, oh, Liz. Yeah, let me find her, uh, Jen's uh, email address. Thank you. I was just looking, just looking at it earlier, but I, but I want to give that to you um, now so that you have that for. Uh, Is it, on, is it on the town oh, website? It's not. So you're, you're that's, um, Keith, I think that's what Liz or um, would have to send out. Liz or, or, or Goldstein would have to send out. Yeah, so I won't send the link out, but what I will do is if I find, I've got Jen's. Uh, oh, good. Contact. I found her, her uh, web page, and I'm sure if I scroll to the bottom, it'll. Tell me how to contact. It's uh, L I Z at R H S O housing dot org. That's Liz Rust. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, because that's good. Because Liz is uh, coordinating all of this for Jen. So that okay. that's not that sounds like a good a good plan. Okay. Yeah. Hello, thank Liz. you. Thanks, and yeah, you, and you can find her on on Liz's. Thanks. Thank Great. you for Thanks. that. And, and I uh, just want to say yes. that. Thank you for doing the work you did. I couldn't believe how cooperative and patient you all were to get that article and all the words right. It was amazing to see people be so polite and so cooperative. Give yourselves well, a little pat for that. Well, one. thank you, thank you for thank saying you. that. That's that's uh, that that that's so that's so great to hear. I re really really not easy to do. <laughs> We're, hopefully, if we make it look easy, well, that would be that would be just marvelous. So, uh, thank you. And I, I see another hand, Marge. Oh, can you? You have to unmute yourself. There you go. Uh, I just like to say that uh, uh, my my feeling about town meeting is that more information is better than less and fast. And uh, I think that one thing that should be included in some way is it exactly where the total funding for this article stands at the time you present it. That is, all of these articles are for the one million for the affordable housing, uh, but uh, a lot of people probably have no idea of what the uh, asset bet Bluffs project is, and would like to know where the rest of the uh, one nine million is coming from. Very good. That's all. I just think okay. that it, yeah, that I appreciate that comment. Uh, I think it's a it's a great it's a great point, and I know that the message has has been received. So uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> great. Okay. Well, I think we're we've reached the point. Uh, where we could uh, have a, uh, a motion to adjourn. I move. Second. Motion by Mike, second by Rich. Uh, we will do a roll call vote on that motion. Linda. Hi, and uh, thank you for all the work that's being done by everybody. Thank you. Um, Mike. Hi. Rich. Hi. Carrie. Aye. And keep aye. So we are adjourned at 2.48 p.m. Thanks all. See you at town meeting. Yep. <laughs>